I've helped thousands of business owners just like yourself more than double their leads and sales with Google Ads. If you give me 10 minutes, I'm going to show you exactly why your Google Ads aren't making you money and importantly, how you can fix it fast. Most people are wasting at least half their budget without even realizing it. However, a few really simple tweaks can boost your results by at least 166% or even more. So in this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to do that for your business. Imagine trying to drive your car blindfolded. Sounds like a disaster waiting to happen, right? Well, that's exactly what's happening when your Google Ads account either has zero conversion tracking or worse, incorrect conversion tracking setup. It's like steering your business without any clear direction, making it near impossible to improve your ad results. Now, conversion tracking is really just a fancy way of saying how you measure success. It's how you track the actions that matter most to your business, like sales or leads. Now, here's the shocking part. Nine out of 10 Google ad accounts that I audit make one of these two critical mistakes with their tracking. The first is that they under report leads. That is their ads are generating more leads than their Google ads are actually showing, meaning they're potentially overlooking a massive opportunity to boost sales because they simply don't realize their ads are working incredibly effectively or profitably. Or the second critical mistake is that they are overstating results. So on the flip side, and I believe definitely worse than the previous scenario, is that they think their ads are performing better than they actually are, leading them down a track of losing thousands of dollars. So to really boost your leads and sales, you first need to accurately track the results that you are already generating from your Google ad campaigns. For e-commerce businesses, this means tracking the sales directly generated from your ads. And if you're in lead generation, like a local dental practice, you should be tracking how people contact you, whether it's through phone calls or inquiry forms. So for example, for a business like a dental practice or a plumber, typically there are about two or three ways that people will get in touch with that business. They'll call directly from the ads themselves. That is the call button in the ad. They'll either call from the website directly by clicking on the phone number on the website or they'll fill in an online form submission. Now you need to clearly track all of these events to understand the full picture of the leads that are being generated. Have a look in this Google ad account. We've done a quick segment by conversions and then conversion action to see the conversion events per campaign. So this first campaign, we can see that it's the calls from uh, the web that has generated eight phone calls and 20 people have booked an appointment online. Whereas this particular campaign has generated six phone calls, uh, two form submissions and 14 and a half <laughs> bookings online. If you are unsure how to set up the proper tracking, I'll put a link in the description to another video on my channel showing you how to set this up. Or if this kind of stuff scares you and you're really not comfortable with techie stuff, it actually may be worth getting some help with this. And funnily enough, my 16 year old son actually has a tracking setup service. I'll put a link in the description and you can check his website out and he's actually really good at it. So getting your tracking right really provides the clarity, confidence and control that you really need to see what's truly working because it's going to allow you to make smarter decisions that will grow your business. Which leads me to my next point. How do you make informed decisions for your Google ads? Well, imagine your ad budget is like a bucket of water. Now, if that bucket has got holes, no matter how much water you pour into it, it's just going to keep leaking water out, which is exactly what happens with your wasted ad spend. The solution isn't to pour more money in or more water in, it's to plug the holes first, right? So how do you identify where these leaks or holes are coming from? And the secret lies in understanding one very critical metric, and that is your cost per lead. This is the North Star for any ad manager, including myself with over a decade of experience. 
This metric alone will tell you exactly how much you are paying to acquire a lead, which is why it's so important to have the right tracking. So let's take this dental practice as an example. And I work with many dentists and typically they're willing to spend about a hundred dollars to acquire a lead. Now, if your campaigns are generating leads that cost more than this, say $200, you're essentially losing money every day that that campaign is running. How much you are willing to spend to acquire a lead will be different for different businesses. So you need to know what it is for your business. Now, if you are unsure what it is for your business, don't worry. Think of it as the margin that you make per lead. Then to find out how much you are actually paying for leads inside Google Ads, simply go into your Google Ad account and the metric you wanna look at is this cost divided by conversion. If you don't see this in your Google Ad account, it's very easy to bring it up. Simply go to the columns, modify columns, scroll to the conversions section here, and you wanna turn on this particular metric. And then when you're in your Google Ad account, you can see the cost per lead per campaign. Before you hastily turn off any campaigns with really high lead costs, it might be worth digging a little bit deeper into finding out why that particular campaign has got high lead costs. Sometimes it's just one really small tweak that can make a massive difference. Perhaps there's one keyword that isn't performing very well or a search term that might be eating up all your budget without results. You'll be surprised how often this happens. Now, this is the same process for e-commerce businesses. The metric you'll be focusing on is conversion value divided by cost, which is your ROAS or return on ad spend. If I show you real quick here in this e-commerce Google ad account, it's this particular metric here, which is the conversion value divided by cost. And you can see the ROAS is different for different campaigns. Now, depending on what your margin is, will determine what ROAS that you need to aim for. So you'll need to have a look at this metric in your campaigns to identify if they're profitable or not. Now, I actually have a free audit checklist that you can download for free, and it contains all the little elements that you can look at in your Google Ad account so you can try and imp continually improve your account's performance. Now that we've set the stage for our dental practice, let's dive into a really cru crucial aspect of running successful campaigns, which is identifying ones that are truly profitable. Here you can see in this dental Google ad account, we are generating really cheap leads. So we want to be driving this as hard as we can. For our dental practice, as long as we're generating leads for under $100, we are in the clear to ramp up our campaign's efforts. But really, how do you do this effectively? So step one is to try and increase your campaign's budget. So whilst it's tempting to really ramp up the budget for a campaign that's working, don't increase your budgets too quickly as it can really throw off the algorithm and your results. I've seen this happen many times. Instead, slowly increase the budget of your profitable campaigns. And I usually recommend, a, recommend about a 20 to 30% increase every other day. Next step is to try and expand your location targeting. If your business model allows, maybe you're selling products online, you can expand to other regions or countries. However, if you're a local service like our dental practice or a plumber, then this might just not be feasible. But wherever possible, you wanna roll out your profitable keywords into additional locations as they are really easy wins. The more places your successful keywords are, the more potential leads that you can generate. And the next step is to optimize your bid strategy. This is really, really important, particularly if you are doing manual bidding, now is the time to automate your campaigns. If you have a lead generation business, such as our dental practice, I recommend using Google's target CPA bid strategy or possibly maximize conversions. And for e-commerce, you definitely wanna try target ROAS or target return on ad spend bid strategies because these automated bid strategies can optimize your bids way more efficiently than manual methods and can improve your conversion rates without you even having to touch any of the traffic. I actually have a really in-depth 
bid strategy video where I reveal my 4S bidding strategy framework. I really recommend you watch that. I'll put a link in the description as it covers really the way to maximize Google's automated bid strategies to boost your campaign performance. So there you have it. That's how you can improve your overall Google ad account performance. If you like this video, don't forget, hit that thumbs icon and subscribe. Thanks for watching.